A blessed day and welcome. This morning we will be meditating on the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 10. I appeal to you brothers and sisters in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that all of you agree with one another in what you say and there be no divisions among you but that you be perfectly united in mind and thought. Yesterday we learned that genuine servants of the Lord have a great balance in character and competence. This morning we learn the second valuable trait that a servant leader should have and that is the desire to enhance unity. Christ wants his people to be so in tune with each other and with him so that they cooperate as if they were one body. In this letter to Corinth, Paul compares the church community to a human body. When we are part of God's family, we shouldn't look at ourselves and think that just because we don't have the skills someone else has, we don't belong in the church. Nor can we be so caught up with ourselves, we believe we don't need other people and can get to heaven all on our own. God designed us to need each other. It's our calling as Christians to lift each other up rather than isolate ourselves. Just like Paul's illustration of the body, the only way the church can be unified is if we recognize we are all different. We all need each other and God's grace is the bond that holds us together. Some of the most captivating, inspiring leadership stories are rooted in a true compassion and often in the face of adversity. In the 1980s, AIDS arrived on the world stage. It was a new, frightening disease with no cure and was rampaging through communities and countries. People believed that you could catch AIDS from touching someone who had it or even sitting on the same toilet seat. Sufferers were shunned and up to 50% of people polled in the US believed that those with AIDS should be quarantined. On the 19th of April, 1987, Princess Diana, one of the most famous people in the world, opened the first unit in the UK dedicated to treating people with HIV and AIDS. During her visit, she shook hands with a patient without even wearing gloves. This image changed people's perception of the disease forever. A genuine servant of God desires for the barriers of race, culture, status, caste to be broken and unites, heals, and inspires the church, never divides it. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, help me to be a part of building your kingdom in love. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Shalom Maranatha.